are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Can we have camera on serial or not? Me? No, I just, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Have, camera yeah. on fully is fine. Say it, we are listening. What does it mean again? Osteochromopolosis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? Definition. <laughs> Why are you covering your mouth? Definition. <laughs> I said when there's nonsense on your ear, you want to say it, but it's not, you're not letting it come out. It causes problem here. Etymology. Eh? Well, Etymology. Osteo. Uh-huh. Uh, that has to do with osteo. <laughs> chromo has to do with chromo and then policy is to do with policy so, are, are you happy now it's fine uh, i understand yeah, i mean if you're a science student you get it you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. you are arts guy this guy arts guy arts guy leave guy, us here yeah, it's, okay. Arts, arts it's okay it's okay thank you we the scientists we get it well i think i think i did i sparked something uh on my on my timeline i told you that i i wrote a little piece about did you uh, and I think that he served his time well with us. And uh, yes, you know, allow us to to vent. We, we don't have any anybody else to scream on but you. Um, so, but of course, we do acknowledge the fact that he's also worked very hard. Anyway, um, let's get into our conversation this morning. Like I told you, Dennis is joining us this morning. It's going to be a very interesting one because today we are not coming hard for the black stars. We are coming hard for the marketing gurus in the game. And for me, for where I sit, I see you both, Cyril, Dennis, I see you plus marketing gurus, communication experts. Oh, you know the so inside. me and me. What, what are they communicating, my brother? I don't communicate Your feelings. <laughs> communicate my feelings. Thank you very much. Chromopolosis. Let me just break it down for you to understand today's conversations, okay? I'm breaking it down to the best minimum. So for many, many, many years, you've seen so many. I'm, I'm not going to hit particularly on any particular brand or commercial you've seen or campaign, ad campaign you've seen. But you've, um, I'm sure you also agree with me that you can, when you hear a Ghanaian ad, you know it's a Ghanaian ad, not because of language, not because of um, uh, maybe the, the copy, that's the, the words in there that we are saying, um, or maybe the actors they've used or the models they've used, but the storyline and the scripts are almost 100% same. So you can tell the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning. Um, I'm very sure most of you have also forwarded your proposals for sponsorships and you know requesting for financial support uh, or association from certain brands and it hits the desk of the marketing managers and then they tell you the same things. I'll get back to you. Uh, my boss will get back to you. I'll, you know those things. But where is the disconnect? Let's start for, with the very first point I mentioned. How... Would we be able to reach certain points where our campaigns that and the ads that we run in this country, um, you know, are a real, um, I don't want to use the word, word replica. It's a, it, it mimics the creative ability of the whole creative arts industry that we talk about all the time. We say creative arts, creative arts, creative arts. Yeah, cre- say, just say creative arts, they are beyond, you understand? But sometimes when you look at the campaigns ongoing, you ask yourself again that where are those creative people that, quote unquote, we spoke of that we are asking for government investments and all. Where were they when all those things were, all these ads and campaigns were being put together? How did somebody do that ad? How did that billboard even go up? Did it even make sense? The graphic person that did it, did he or she think twice about it before putting it up? Anyway, that's on the side. Aside from FDA doing their duty to make sure that certain communications put out there are right, who is checking the creative arts person's communication um, and who is critiquing and who is pushing the person to the next level? You sometimes travel to Europe, for those of you who've been to Europe, and then you see some, some, some campaign or some billboard. The whole billboard is not square. It's a car. It's a car that you drive through it. And you, when you're driving through the billboard, you go into the water and you come out. Before you come out, you bought the car. Or it's not even the car you're buying. You've bought the water. Or it's an <laughs> island we're selling. You know, d- disruptive campaigns. How come we don't see some of those innovative things here which equally relates to the people here and people here would understand um and then the second point which i was talking about with the disconnect between um what brands are looking for and what some people chase after when they present proposals to brands and always don't get their proposals going through i can tell you that the year has begun plenty of proposals are going to go to big brands I'll, I'll put some before you um the likes of giants like the MTNs, the Vodafones, the Betways, the One X Bets, the Pepsi's, the you name them, big, 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 big brand, the the, the Unilever brands, plenty. 
millions of proposals, only one. <laughs> I have this idea. Through. We'll make it through. <laughs> only one will make it through, or even not only oh. none will, won't even make it through. Why? What is happening? There is a disconnect. It is a football season. The last if I bring in Dennis and Cyril, we still started a battle. It is a football season. Have you seen any campaign running from any organization that has piqued your interest or have made you applaud so much and say, wow, 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 wow. Did you see how they, they used X to reach Y? I'm very sure all you've heard is the same old predicts, win, mm-hmm. giving you souvenirs. Mm-hmm. You can win a bottle or a, what you call tumbler, right? Mm-hmm. You can win a tumbler if you shop 10,000 times in our shop mm-hmm. and then if you do this, if you walk through the net in our office, yeah, in, our, in our store, you get a free t-shirt, a free jersey. Same old things. Have you seen any campaign? Well, if you have, tag us now and we'll look into it and talk about it. But if you haven't as well, then you probably sit in the same seat that I, I am in right now. That have you seen anything that has given you that much of an interest to go like wow like they say the little doctor has made thousands of people rich why do we recall the statement 30 years down the line is it because nothing matched matched it or was just popular because he's a good samaritan that's all the one that even kills me is i'm sure of payment they are reliable mm. for those born in the 70s <laughs> like Cyril and, and Co, they know the one i'm talking about <laughs> oh hey, yes Amma, are you still using used to treat your osteochromopolosis yes have you tried osteochromopolosis no what is oh, that osteochromopolosis eliminates all gastric osteochromopolosis in some way somehow the person <laughs> just has it in <laughs> their bag right again. at that <laughs> minute that no, no, kills me is the ending the ending <laughs> where they go like uh ah where is he? I'm already at there. <laughs> Where is he? Ah, you think I wait for you? I am at Osteopolo Limited. I'm buying. <laughs> Located at La Paz. Nyamiche. In that, call them on zero. He knows their email everything. <laughs> Off head. Off head. He doesn't have any real problems. The ones that kill me are the commercials that have like three telephone numbers and expect the, the listener to hear and understand and memorize all. <laughs> Call us on 234 or 025 or email us on this, 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 or at this, 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 and ask yourself all in, all in, in, in 30 seconds. Mm, mm, How? Mm. AI CF no AI. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the junction we are at. Understanding the whys in the house. Dennis, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, good morning. Good to be here. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yesterday, there was a pretty heated debate between Cyril and Olele, and uh, I don't know who was in defense and who was there. Len, Len was playing both sides. Both sides. Uh, when did you like that? Um, oh, but was, before we... I'm not playing any okay, side. Before we... I'm we, taking notes. I know you guys are, <laughs> have good background in marketing and communication, so let's let's break it down so that, you know, listeners like myself who are not necessarily in that space to understand how it works and why maybe it is so. Um... What are some of the character traits of Ghanaians? And I don't need any book, uh, textbook uh, explanations. Um, in your personal opinion, what are some of the character traits of Ghanaians that um, give us the, you know, make us communicate in certain ways and not necessarily try to be overly creative in the things that we are trying to do? Uh, are there any particular traits that you've realized in your years of, you know, work that make you like, look, you know, the people you are dealing with speak to them like this well um this this goes way back to um our upbringing um aj yes so the problem um, <laughs> we, we tell it thanks for coming bro we'll okay. go, 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 go bring you back this time is that that is us really um i typically was also brought up like that um very sheltered very um control controlled environments etc mm. and so I feel in a way it inhibits um, exploration. It inhib- inhibits um, children wanting to try out new things, yeah. um, explore, and then just be bold and dare and take take initiatives. You dare so not. So we yeah. want to remain the same as. Don't you see Kojo's son? He's like this. Don't you see Kwame's son? Um, our neighbor's son? He's like that. So we all want to conform yes be like this conformity bias Con- you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so i mean you. roll it roll it up you know many years <clears throat> later on you realize 
brands, people want to ah, this ad is like this. I want this ad to also be like that. Because mm. people like this ad. <laughs> but then what I learned in my years during advertising, when we're, we're both in advertising, is that adverts that win are adverts that are insight based. Break it down, please. Adverts that win are based on insight. So insight is the basic, most common truth that is pev you know, pre prevalent among all human mm -hmm. beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something that you would agree with, you would agree with, you would agree with. When they score their black stars, we are all disappointed. It's a basic truth. Yes. So if somebody is able to write on that and use that insight creatively, it may not be something you want to say. But in your preamble, you mentioned... Oh, predict and win mm -hmm. and, you know, buy this product, blah, blah, blah. But if somebody is able to weave a narrative, a storytelling narrative around the passion behind the Black mm -hmm. Stars, mm -hmm. or even be as bold enough to say, we've been losing over the years. So, you know what? Let me ride on that feeling that Ghanaians have. Everybody will connect with that ad. Wait, take it again. Right on the other side. On the not, other not side. The win. But spin it around <laughs> on creatively. The loss. On the loss. <laughs> it's, it's a place right. that people would not want to, but it's, it's, it's a truth. Because often the campaign is centered around going, going to win. Going to, going win. to, win. Going to win. And yeah. it's a wishful thinking uh, situation. <laughs> I mean, let's be real with ourselves and let's reposition ourselves as the underdogs. Mm. And you know what? We were here before. This is where we are now. And we want to go here. <clears throat> People will resonate with that. It's like um, comedy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The only real response or the psychological response to comedy, I mean, the comedians tell stories and stories that are true. They're not necessarily funny, mm -hmm. but relatable. then it's relatable. The moment within the comedy space, <coughs> you are able to relate with a story, your only response is to what? Laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, be it's because you connect with that story. And we are not telling stories of ourselves properly. We are trying to conform with what we see so basically we haven't explored or allowed ourselves to yes explore uh, the other things about us that um you know could have maybe taken us to other heights but let me ask you this does tribe and ethnicity as yeah and these borderlines in terms of regions and all hinder advertising in any way to have seamless communication that can you know sail through north south east west easily even though I know products all have target markets. Um, I, I, I particularly don't like foraying into that space, not because um, it, I perceive it a certain way, but um, beyond all of that are the base, we're human beings, and we all have experiences that govern the way we think, and um, we have, we have um, things that govern the way we think and um, react to external um, you know stimulus I'm, I'm coming to a certain very dangerous question but it's no mm -hmm. problem mm -hmm. I, I want I want I want to hear I want to hear that these the three gentlemen in here speak to it okay I'm so I'm in branding, branding. <laughs> right so in branding um, there is a matrix um, a framework that is used to position products mm -hmm. or brands and it's a globally accepted or not a globally functional um, matrix okay right it's called the brand archetype wheel Right, and this is something that's entrenched or embedded in psychology. Okay. And it's something that is used to position brands. Okay. And people are able to connect with brands because of this. So if you drill down, every brand we know is positioned on this wheel. And I think that's a better way or a more scientific way to um, craft your messages, position your brands, and use um, that to... Sir, can you school us on this wheel, this wheel you, you talk about? I don't so, know how it works. I'm <clears throat> sending it to production. They'll put it up in the system. Right. But so you can go on. The brand archetype wheel um, is a set of... Um, um, well, what I'll say is... Um, it's a set of archetypes, basically, that globally we all um, can connect with. So there are 12 different personality archetypes that... Um, everybody connects with on a subconscious level on a conscious level so if we say a brand is positioned as a ruler we all know and we can connect with the concept of a ruler and okay. all the all the things that come around someone be a, being a ruler we all these qualities we we um, connect with it right so if a brand is positioned as such okay then the brand speak the tone of voice the the look and feel all of these things speak volumes of the positioning of a okay. ruler 
so we can basically uh, connect with them for example apple is a creator brand mm -hmm. a brand that creates some always brings out something new mm -hmm. brings pops up something new so that persona has been created around the brand okay. or based on that positioning the brand has that persona okay and so we all connect with it and no matter what it, apple brings up this is what we uh, we 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 use so th as you can see on your screen yeah. there are about 12 different um archetypes and they're divided into four different pools mm -hmm. right so one pool provides structure okay for you know the the consumer who is actually looking for structure um the other one also provides you know a spiritual journey or basically gives freedom and learning basically okay and then um the one at the bottom that f that uh, quadrant also talks about leaving a mark you okay. know something yeah. heroic and all of those things and then the other one also speaks to connections okay so with each four with each of the four poles you have three different archetypes that is used to position okay so for example nike is a hero brand nike basically um, inspires people to do stuff and you know they don't sell you the product they sell you the, <laughs> the, the, the experience the, the, the experience the yes. concept the, the 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 ethos the ethos of the brand so yeah. no matter what you're just connected to the brand some way somehow yeah. and that's a better way of telling um, yeah. stories about back on brand. screen please if you can just have that um let, let me just uh, speak to okay all right so we, we saw i mean in the last in the down the <coughs> quadrants that has nike in there says leave a mark uh, we've seen disney we've seen uh, harley davidson um, then connect to others, uh, IKEA. If you can just explain how those brands connect, how it works in there. I, I don't. I don't. Okay. So um, belonging. Um, well, they, they are slightly different wordings used here. Okay. Some would say every man or an every man brand. Okay. Yes, that's that's it right there. Every man. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the every man brand is the type that um, you can relate to. He's the he's the guy next door you can talk to. He's mm -hmm. the he's a friend you can relate with. Mm -hmm. He's the common man. You know he's not all the way up there he's mm -hmm. not all the way down there but mm -hmm. he's just that friend you can you can so ikea creates this um whole brand perception of you know what um our, our products are friendly mm -hmm. you can you can just go to the shop buy them mm -hmm. and when you even look at um, any mm -hmm. interior that's been made by ikea mm -hmm. it, it has this very homely um easy calm look mm -hmm. you know and that's that's what drives the design philosophy of ikea okay please hold on right there do you get homegrown brands Ghanaian homegrown brands i don't mean imported brands homegrown brands um adopting to this uh archetype that you just showed us in in, in growth do you see i mean have you seen any of them not to mention them but have you seen confidently homegrown brands homegrown brands maybe a, a rice a rice brand uh, uh, or a, a a shirt maybe um a fashion designer you know who who makes shirts we've seen a lot of them or who is into women's outfits or um i don't want i don't want to be too specific because then it brings the, the brand's <laughs> names but do you see us following certain um uh, guidelines that would give us opportunity to go global with the way our brands are projected if not then would that be a reason why we find ourselves at that stalemate every single time where it looks local and cheap and i know in every country you may have the same thing but we've we've adopted boss ikea as global brands and are consuming their products here and i i don't think when you walk into an ikea store you see the thing they sell there i don't think it's different from what china has imported you understand? Would you say? Uh, would you say? Uh, right, buy from there. So would I know. Would you say it. a brand like ORCA is? I mean, so they are imported, or I think they they all they are imported. They are imported products from different brands. Indigenous brands, indigenous brands Ooh, here. Wow. So if the last if I can I, remember was MKOGH and PKOGH. Um, good, good Target question. Advertising <clears throat> consumers also learn, and it's the duty of the brands to take the consumers. I'm thinking about osteo. Drink, osteo or osteochromopolosis. <laughs> 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 Charlie, I will come something. tomorrow after two hours. <laughs> so consumers also learn, right? And it's the brand's duty to take the consumer on that learning journey. And we we, we don't do much of that in, in, in Ghanaian advertising because most of the brands are, I wouldn't say scared, but reluctant to invest in the time and the resources that it will take 
to take the consumer on that journey. So we quickly jump to the reward, to what is to be gained, the pleasure. So we have some kind of uh, chronic optimism that, you know, everything must end on a positive note. Whether it's data you are buying, whether it's medicine, whether it's FMCG goods, whether it's soap, milk, whatever, it must have a happy ending. Never is a Ghanaian ad going to end on a reflective note and have the consumer go, hmm. Exactly. It's always any time qua. Let me say, I know which voice has been doing those. So you see, you understand? It's always that the voiceovers are like we are on cocaine, right? The ads are bright and colorful. Everybody's happy. There's never a problem. Even when the society, so our societies don't reflect or advertising does not reflect the reality of the people who are in the consumer oh. base. Because everybody is trying to sell from an optimistic standpoint, which first off is it means that you are selling deception, right? Because if you are selling something to people who, I mean, you 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 need to pretend that everything is okay. Advertising is more or less deception. Mm -hmm. If you buy an iPhone, your life is not going to change, mm -hmm. right? If you buy an Android, if you buy whatever, your life is not going to change. But it gives you an experience but if our experience is so vastly void from what the experience of the consumer is then we have our content being stale like like you said if you take most of the banking uh comms that are out in in ghana today mm -hmm. and you swapped the logos and colors it all still works exactly. if you took every brand that banking brand that was blue that uses blue as their palette and you swap their logos, it all still works. If you took each one that was yellow and took their logos and swapped it around, it all still works. That tells you that individuality is dead. They are all using the same template. What, what promise are we giving them? Transact freely now at zero charge. Every bank is doing that. It's just your logo that makes you different from the competitor. So real value to the consumer is non-existent. Yeah. You are basically guilt-tripping the consumer to choose you over learning. Okay. So then, then, then now back to the question I was asking about, um, like brands in Ghana and why or are we are we using are we aligned ourselves with any of these um, tools mechanisms of growth, you know, so that we can we can now also start growing our brands and making them uh, glow because I, I see a lot of imported products that already ha are, are carrying um, you know a certain trade value. That people would, we can relate to and say, "Well, if you are a buyer, so it's okay," mm -hmm. and then they write on that, and then they 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 they, they push it out there. Mm -hmm. But for local brands, <clears throat> I hardly find any of them, or just probably a few, find, uh, just a few of them. Is it that cam is it the campaigns that are being it's used around them? And, and and before that, sorry, there are a lot of questions. But I think this one will even come before the question I asked on the tribes and then the ethnicity. When, and it's really, I'm sure you all attested this, it's going to be a hard one, but let me say it. A client gives you a campaign to run, uh, to produce commercials for. There's English guy, tree, ever, Dagoba, Dagari, Hausa, and Zema. As you leave English into tree, and you go from tree into gun, quality, value, quality, you, you worry less about how it sounds. Mm. Unless I'm lying. No, no, no. Uh, have, yeah. you be, have you all been there? I can understand what you mean, yeah. yeah. I'm doing this in the mind. Let me just do it like that. Mm. You run with the right. as, should, yeah. as compared to the corrections that will be done when it comes to the English. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't like the voice. Mm. Can you get me mm. somebody whose voice? Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that in Zimbabwe. Are we, <laughs> <laughs> are we looking down? That, that's why I asked the question about the, uh, you know, how ethnicity is playing. Are we looking down on languages which is also a key part of communication let me let me let me let me help you <laughs> sorry there are hard questions but yeah, yeah, i, no, I no, want no. to be very let careful me, how you, let, you, let, you let okay yeah. let me, art, still, still start. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> art imitates life right the same reason why we don't have a, 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 a highly celebrated in zima artist is the same reason why that applies because the same person who pays no mind to the Zima music is the marketing manager you are dealing with the same person Anji. who doesn't appreciate that fancy Gandam can uh, sell out Tamale Stadium, but it's big because maybe Stoneboy sold out a Crossbow Stadium. That bias 
that exists with us as people is the same bias we take into our offices and send the emails with. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The reason why I bear them or add wow. them has been phenomenal from day one production, music, videos, everything. But we still don't put him on the pedestal as a sack or the air or whoever. It's the same bias that you carry into the meeting. Because it's see, airway. When we venture do, do, into the do, space do, do, do you yeah, hey, let's of, go in. of marketing yeah. and comms, um, then it's a numbers game. You get me? Mm. It's a numbers game. Um, we first, like you said, we first cater to, from English, we first cater to Akan. Akan. The largest it's widespread. It's, it's very, it's very widespread. Now, um, then we now look maybe Ga. Then we probably look at another. So it's it's a game of numbers. It's a thing about numbers. But even within that space, um, when you're speaking Akan to a certain segment, now that's another part um, part of uh, <coughs> marketing that has to be seriously considered. Segment based marketing. Now, which segment are you speaking to? What's their profile? How how well? up there or middle or down there are they so all these factors would also come in to determining how the tone of voice or the the, the tone with which that communication comes out so it's yes it's a fair observation but i think that when you're looking at the numbers um you're catering to a certain um segment then you're, you're you have to consider all of these things for example even i can um there are ways to, to, to speak the Akan language. I mean, if you heard a KKD speaking tree um, yeah, very royally, exactly, yeah. there's a way to convey uh -huh. messages that way. And there's also a very colloquial um, street tree language that you want to, because you want to reach a wider base, not only pure Akan speaking mm -hmm, people, but mm -hmm. a very broader base of, um, um, of, of your target market. Mm -hmm. So there's probably, you're probably targeting the gun man who speaks tree. But you need to use generic tree to, to do that. So the quality, like you said, Definitely. is not okay. It's not numbers as, play, but it looks like as uh, so. Um, I, I have a question for you. Okay. Dennis. All right. Careful. Regardless of the of the regardless of the the demographic, the numbers, the penetration of the that ethnic consumer base or whatever, at, quality must not be compromised. True. You understand? If you are talking to five people and they speak in Zama and they are not your core uh, base, once you decide to speak to people who speak in Zama, it should be the highest quality in Zama mm -hmm. possible. Depending on whether you are reaching to the um, westernized in Zama or the typical in Zama. When I say westernized, I mean like, you know, the way they speak the fancy with English. English makes <laughs> or whether you are raw fancy, you know. I think the problem is I don't know what Fool is asking, but what mm -hmm. I'm hearing is, regardless of your numbers, when you want to do such a campaign, let's say you want to do a campaign that goes from north to south, east to west, the quality, the work that goes into the English should be at the same level of the work that goes into the Dagban, the, 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 the or the, or the, or the Ewe, or yeah. whatever, regardless of how many people it is, how long to, yeah. you are going to run it for. But what we've seen over and over again is, is that, that there's a, 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 a dip, a very Here's noticeable the I dip. Asked the first question about um, the, about our, uh, probably before the, the tribe is showing, this leave me what I was just going to say. No, but the, the foreign, the, no, the, the brands, the foreign You know, brands. it's, it, how we, it's like we look down on ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we look down on ourselves and we limit ourselves and we assume that's what I was, uh -huh, about the character traits of the Ghanaian. You know, because we assume that oh the guy speaking in Zima or the guy speaking Dagari or Dagati oh isn't enlightened. Like we, we carry a certain perception. So yeah. if I'm communicating in you know in a, uh, don't worry, it's, it's fine, do I understand? And those things have been going on for a very long time. I feel like it has fed into our creative the creativity we've been put to the commercials and the, the campaigns that we are putting out. And because of that, we've reached a certain point. We've created, like you said, we've created a certain format for our advertising. Uh, and, you know, we were like what Cyril was doing, <laughs> how he was mimicking some, some of the comms that we, we hear. Almost every ad about to roll out in this country, and I can put my hand on my chest and do this and tell you that, it, <laughs> hey, into what you say, see, we're here, yeah, 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 nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I can tell you that it's taken a certain format mm. for many, 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 many years. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to find out where the, the, the challenge, where the problem is. 
you know, is it the people? Let's ask about the character traits. Is it the people and how they want the information to be consumed? Mm. Is it the copywriter and what he thinks works best for the product? Is it the marketing guy who feels this campaign is the way it has to go because I'm going to be selling um, insecticide spray? So, uh, you know, like, is, yeah, is, is you. that how it's supposed to work? Is that how we perceive mosquitoes? Is that how the, the mosquitoes are perceiving as yeah, a human being? I, I, I want to attempt to answer that, right? Okay. Try and see. <laughs> Deep it's, 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 it's just like <laughs> our news, right? Um, consumers are not quick to um, receive news that is properly sent across. So oh, no, no, before, you, before you continue, before, just before you continue, this I'm adding to the question, so you answer it. All. <laughs> so, so for example, the the spray one, <clears throat> I hardly would hear if you take Unilever um, a, a, a toothpaste paste commercial. They look at the health benefits, very bougie, and tell you why you need to use this thing. Fight cavities. <laughs> the the insecticide spray is not telling you about. It's not f- telling you a lot about the risk of malaria and what it can do to you if you don't prevent these mosquito bites. <clears throat> it touches mm. on the malaria. It, you know, it is it, one B mm. in the yeah, local toothpaste. And then and focuses also hard on the number of mosquitoes in the room. But even the local local um, local sprays, the local insecticide sprays, actually have the opposite of what you are saying. They have a more sensationalist drive, you know. Um, I don't want to mention names, but we've seen some during the Fira, you know, when the Fira series was happening. Mm-hmm. You, that's even on TV. Like, who had the twerking mosquito? No? That's a Fira. That was a Fira. A Fira. No, which brand? I don't want to mention it. Oh, mention it? Why? Oh, no, no, I don't want to mention like, it. Who had the twerking mosquito? <laughs> we, 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 nah, I don't want to. I don't, well, it was it was In the red pants. <laughs> So what I'm saying is, for some reason, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe maybe yeah. Lens can speak to it, but I think, I, I don't know if it's just us as Ghanaians and Who how we the, consume. You whisper to me, I'll make sure. I, think, I think Cyril touched on that in his submission. The sensationalism, um, the drama. It, it's, it, it had to do um, a lot with, um, oh, it just, it just slipped me. But you touched, you touched well, on... Our personal biases. Oh. Yes. That's, well, I mentioned that, um, one, the consumer is brought up a certain way yeah. and um, prefers the status quo, etc. But then you also hinted on something else <clears throat> in your submission, and which also answers the f- why um, w- the quality, you know, so, sort of sort of dips. Cyril touched mm. on it. It just, it just um, basically mm. slipped me. But um, when it comes to Ghanaian brands, um, yeah, I think d- d- in a lot of ways, um, Without uh, prejudicing some brands, um, I think there are some brands that have taken or charted the course that um, we talked about. Um, there's a bank that is orange, Ghanaian-based. Um, mm. They started with a great positioning, and people wanted to be on board with the bank. And over the years, yes, they've been they've remained consistent. But then I think now most of the banks have centered their comms around the products that they offer and it's the same across the board mm-hmm. but i think the value the proposition is down. the the value proposition um for for banking in ghana um there's there's very little differentiation and yeah. the purpose the purpose of branding the purpose mm-hmm. of good advertising is differentiation yeah the biggest value the reason yeah, why the you spend thing. any money is to make your consumer know that you are not the competitor Mm-hmm. You are the market leader, but if this herd mentality, this conformist bias that makes us open twenty com centers back to back, has infiltrated mm-hmm. its way into such upscale, you know, scenes that every look at every bank app. It's a billboard with the interface of a phone, yeah. and their app and three words: convenience, security. And uh, reliability. Reliable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every, every bank, yeah. right? Yeah. Every bank, whether it's blue, green, yellow, is the interface I'm sure of a payment. Full, they you know, are reliable. I was, I, yesterday, yeah. yesterday, I went to a bank to transact, right? And while I was there waiting in the queue, I was re replanning the their strategy for them in my head. Now I'm in the bank, and it's a screen showing the app interface walkthroughs how to send momo from your account how to do this how to do that's what they were showing in the bank right but i'm 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 thinking if the person has made it to the bank and is in your physical building in the banking hall and you have a screen to offer them any information 
the first thing you need to realize is if the person was aware of your app prior to arriving there mm -hmm. they, they wouldn't have used it either. they wouldn't be here so instead of showing me how to use the app you should be telling me there is an app which is totally different you should be showing me the inconvenience i just or went... a jam movie yes <laughs> or <that is> something <laughs> else <laughs> you should be showing me the trotsky the taxi the sweat i just went through to arrive that welcome but you didn't need to come you could have done this at home why didn't you do this on the way to base place why do you make me feel like mm, and think because that's what advertising is meant to make the consumer you're supposed to look at the thing and go oh hey so basically i traveled all the way here to learn how to use the app wow when, and if i knew how to you if i knew your app was this good i would have been at home and done what i took uber or whatever to come here to do so it defeats the point you've missed the target the guy in the banking hall is not the guy who you should be doing the faq you have a database of people's imei numbers and emails and whatever who have downloaded your app mm -hmm. they need information on how to use it so that they don't change the app because they've taken the first step to of, that, of to downloading download it app, yeah. sustain them by educating them giving okay. them value and an experience to, remember. to the question of the morning and the question that i've been waiting to mm -hmm. oh, sorry, Lenny, ask it before i, I come I, to I was going to find out because this is to dennis and serial right because you guys mentioned that we should make we should make a difference or the brand should make a difference mm -hmm. right is that why um even with a new brand you find them saying we are the best we are the first we are the most you know all of those all of them are the those are very uh, shallow those are very because shallow then things. obviously those are really new brands no one has tried it no you, one has used it so why are they pitching like that because the biggest they, they are, is about to happen every party is the biggest yes. you know, <laughs> you know the, the the it's an adaptive it adaptive. takes hard work it takes hard work and high risk to really do something disruptive and differentiate yourself from the competition right you cannot do what the competition is doing and just say i am the best you need to let people feel what makes you the best let me give you an example i can say this heaven mosquito coil the last time i had anything to do with heaven mosquito coil i i, I asked my, my my submission to them was let's stop selling mosquito repellent okay Ghanaians already know about malaria mm -hmm. right we already know what mosquito spray does you don't need to remind us of the inconvenience mosquitoes cause right you have a name like heaven that nobody can touch <laughs> so, so you've seen the campaigns <laughs> you've seen the campaigns uh around town the billboards heaven dear <clears throat> mm. nobody can up that your competitor cannot yeah. claim that space your competitor can tell you fragrance yeah. and uh, uh, and all yeah, these other all malaria those, yeah. those are those are yeah, heaven, those are heaven, heaven is the is that's that's it. The ultimate. That's that's ultimate. Ultimate. So, yeah. exactly and the campaign went wild and it's still up right because no matter what the competitors are saying about the spray and the fragrance and how many mosquitoes it kills per second we already know that mosquito spray kills mosquitoes and now bring a new campaign that says so so but now we need their having their own call oh, God, that. That. <laughs> you understand <laughs> Fair enough, <laughs> but that makes that makes the landscape interesting. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, you, you, you understand? So sometimes you move <laughs> the you move the. So when you say in tun tun, you're back cow. You're back cow. Heaven, your uncle. You have to move the goalposts. Oh God, heaven! You have to move the goalposts away from the obvious, right? Apple is Apple is not selling yeah. you the the features on the phone. Apple is selling you acceptance so that when you walk into a room and you are nervous, social capital yes when you walk into a room and you are nervous and you don't know anybody there you grip your phone hard because you know that this thing means i am somebody mm. when you arrive somewhere and you're oh, driving yeah, a bmw oh, yeah, oh, nobody yeah, cares what yeah. horsepower and balance is in the car but the bmw tells me something about g foley well, like, by this time at this time, I don't know why. Please, okay. <laughs> they'll come for you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The will come for so, you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not literal. <laughs> We've been so literal with our advertising that it's flat line okay. boring. So to the question of the morning, which we right. ended on almost yesterday, was our marketing managers getting lazy? And I want your opinions on this. And this sparked a very, very interesting conversation in here in this room because they are the they are the ones who are, I mean, with their team in their department creating these 
amazing campaigns that's an amazing in quotes campaigns that are coming out um we are talking about ghanaian marketing managers you know um i i, I want to say kudos to uh, mr uh, george anda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. he's one of the very popular marketing managers and of course some of us lived through his experience and yeah, he's been around man. Re regardless him being uh him having a team his team lead so comes to team lead um if he didn't do his job well would have spoken about it equally and then all the bashing will come to him but he did his job well so we are talking about it and a lot of advertisers or young men and women in that space would always tell you that george anda um you know former um uh, is it a Utu? Um, uh, Senior West. MP. Yes, uh, MP and also uh, former marketing um, manager for MTN mm. as well as Guinness, Guinness. Ghana. Guinness. Ghana. Yes, I mean some of the campaigns within that period that they they rolled out, you know, uh, were just things that you probably will sing it over and over and over again. And the agencies behind them who also created those campaigns, shouts going out to them. So I'm very sure it is the leadership that, of course, would would, would throw the the, the 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 weight on. So we're coming to the marketing managers now. That the quality of marketing managers that we are seeing in in the country, um, creatively, which, creative, which because the exams they what, pass. What a school, uh -huh, What schools they go through? What trainings they go through? Um, because we want to see campaigns that are like mind blowing. You know, let me again. Let me say, shouts to. Um, uh, I mean, some brands will enjoy some some this thing, some glory today. It doesn't matter. But uh, the the PVC pipes that uh, had the Atongo on Atongo, there, Vera Plus. you know, That's a great yes, story it was a great storytelling commercial. It and it, 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 no, it wasn't yeah. you. Uh, it wasn't you. Wasn't you? Originate. Originate. Uh, Way back. It was. Why? Why do you? It started. It started from there. But yeah, from I'm, I'm not a young Atongo. man. Who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Atongo, the Atongo storyline. No, no. The, the storyline. The <laughs> character. People could relate to the character, knowing that I again, a few, tribe, a few ads, tribal lines. Bro, let me give you three. We ads. know, we know. If you are talking carpenters, you know a certain tribe that has a lot of yeah. carpenters, masons in a certain tribe. So, so that so brings us back to yeah. insights. Yeah. What yeah. I was talking about. So you, there's a certain archetype built around certain characters or certain okay. tribes, if you may, and we can relate to these mm. soon as we hear and we know. Stereotypes are real. Straight. We 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 connect. We connect with it, and I think. What I was trying to remember about what Cyril said was the short-term um, pleasure, the short-term goals. That um, th th that's what in, you know um, influences most marketing managers. What's the ROI within the short period? What are the targets? So quickly, we're looking for something to just put out there so we can get some traction. But it's it's a very uh, <laughs> lazy man approach to to things. Okay. Yes, targets are real. Uh, we face them every day. I mean, I'm coming from the agency side. I'm now mm -hmm. on the client side, and I've seen, <laughs> I've seen Pepe. And, seen you know, <laughs> so when you see the targets, you're looking at quick, surefire ways to <laughs> quick, fire, quick, you know, ways to get results in quotes. Yes, some results, but um, there's also brand building over the period, brand equity, things that you need to do on a deeper level rather than just the superficial um, comms that you do on a surface level. You, you, you need to do full 360, dig deep to connect with people with insight. So are our creative agencies, our marketing managers, are they, um, you know, you mentioned high risk, of course, high risk, uh, high returns, mm. <laughs> or, or the other way. Um, you know, we saw there was a whole... Uh, out raw or uh, outburst, I beg your pardon, a raw on social media, uh, and, at, and and then an attack on Kantanka when the boys drove all the way to the UK and tapping into certain you know moments to try and create uh, creative or beautiful campaigns. Um, now there's another one that happened. She, uh, Shikanik, she drove also drove to Ivory Coast with her team, and we're having conversations around brands tapping into so let me start off with the, the road transport you know people first <laughs> my goodness car, you're going to put car, me on the spot car manufacturing company <laughs> and, and, to talk about and, the and car manufacturing how, company no because i'm very sure she can next thing it might be i want to come to the car manufacturing company and have a conversation hmm. on sponsoring me hmm. because that she will be thinking and i'm not speaking as though she this is what she thought i'm just using as an example she might be thinking that look i'm going to drive i'm going to get all the, all the social media attention um, people will be watching me. People will want to follow our, our, our this day, our, our trip. Mm. Um, it will test the cast durability that you always speak about and all stuff like that. But I post, she posted that in front of the marketing manager, and then mm, I'll get back to you. Conversions. We want to understand 
what she didn't understand, if it was Shikane, I'm just using mm. as an example. Shikane, you didn't do that, I'm just saying. <laughs> what she understood about the brand that she went to propose to and what the brand is not seeing with her or doesn't want to align with her on what she's doing. I, I want to use that as a practical example. Okay. Put me on the spot, but well, <laughs> let, um, well, this brings me or brings us back to the core reason why um, I'm, I'm here. Um, we receive a lot of proposals. I get them. I mean, starting January, I started receiving a lot of proposals. Already? Already. And there are tons and tons of them, and some of them are outrageous. I mean, they would come asking for 500,000, mm. 1 million Ghana CDs to do... Um, X, Y, Z, and then you look at the package of platinum, gold, this, and we'll give you mentions on social media, we give you mentions on radio, TV, ads, uh, billboards, blah, 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 blah. But then there's always a missing um, component. Now, um, to the preamble you gave mm -hmm. um, about she um there are lots of factors that um, contribute to whether or not um, an auto company would, would jump on and I'll speak for uh, myself at yeah. CFA. Um, sometimes some of these proposals come a little late, um, don't come too early, because then we are probably a few weeks into the event that's going to happen, or maybe just about a month. And reporting lines are like really long, especially when we are looking at um, budgets that are quite hefty. Um, sometimes, yes, uh, we would want to jump on board, but then uh, the, the question is is it? a matter of just likes is it a matter of just um, um, visibility because then people are more concerned about the f the core activity that's happening you know on on on, on, on social media mm -hmm. they are concerned about the conversations the, the the different things that are going on yes the car may appear but what's the connection point so sometimes we want to sit and properly curate the content so like experience yeah, and it properly creates the content so that we are able to merge the two portions together. I mean, it's not it's not um, enough to say, uh, well, they're driving my car, and then you know I see shots of the of the car, I see the crown, I see. But isn't that what the commercial that you'd have shot and put on on social media or TV still communicates? Shots of the car, the experience, the features, uh, wouldn't that have been the same communication. Sure. I mean, it, then you need a little more time to curate the content because at the time they're coming to you, they want a car to drive. And um, from what you would gather is we are take, we're going to show you shots of the vehicle. We're going, to sh we're going to talk about the vehicle. But is it deep enough to convince someone to, 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 to make a purchasing decision at the time? Okay. Okay. So okay. I think this is where Cyril's points come into play. Because <clears throat> as someone coming for the sponsorship or the money or the car, I'm thinking about that, right? So at what point does the marketing manager meet them halfway to see the opportunity in that proposal? Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a marketing I? expert. I'm coming on. I'm not a marketing expert. As far as, as, far as I'm concerned, I think your brand will, will fit, you know, my events or it would just you know, be that bridge that would, would, would bring the event, you know, closer to people with your brand, right? Mm -hmm. But you are looking for a deeper something. Definitely. Right? So um, isn't that where you, you meet the, 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 the proposal halfway? Or? Sure. Before he meets the proposal <coughs> halfway, right, one thing that a lot of people who put out sponsorship requests and proposals fail to do is have a deep enough insight and understanding of what the business they are targeting is all about really and what their target points for that season is but right? how do you know that is that is why you are sending a proposal you, that's why the graphic designer is not the guy to send the proposal because his <laughs> job is not marketing <laughs> so your team your events team if doesn't have a marketing person or a brand person, needs to contract a consultant you know, to say we want to approach see, Olili. Zero, zero, or a strategist. I, 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 I'm hoping that the conversation will be for startups. Yes. Okay. For startups. Because Having an it, idea. Because because if if you have, if you look at a startup, one person, an accountant, same person as event organizer, yes. same person. So yes. if we could skew the conversation to help startups. So as a startup, know, as a uh -huh. startup, right? You are often <clears throat> tasked because of bootstrapping to play multiple roles. Mm -hmm. That's fair. You have an idea. You flesh out the idea. But you need to understand 
that if you do not get the necessary expertise to turn that idea into a viable engagement that a brand can plug into and benefit it's just an idea so a lot of people pitch the idea and don't pitch how it works how it's going to be sustainable or how it can even be a measurable engagement now remember dennis has to account for that 500k he gave you and explain the roi on that and the impact is hard on the brand yeah but you, that's that's his job yes yeah. that is his no <laughs> that is his job but if you are not giving that's why him, i would ask you those questions so that's why Olile is asking yeah. so no. because i'm coming because blank. i'm coming, I'm coming no 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 hear me hear me hear me hear me hear me hear me osteochromopolosis osteochromopolosis listen you having an idea mr startup is great we love it right but your idea needs to be deconstructed right for you to show all the working parts and all the bits where a brand can plug in. Because what you are asking for, in, in, in effect, is a partnership. It's a merger of your idea being executed. Yeah, I have questions for you. But no you problem. It's a merger of your idea being executed through the vessel of this brand. Right? Yes. That is what you are coming to us for. Yeah. Great. Now that you have come, uh -huh. okay, the things you are selling us are things we already pay as a brand to achieve i don't need your one day event to give me visibility because i have billboards i have radio i have tv i have social media marketing i have digital marketing i'm already paying for a ton of visibility yeah but i'm not, I'm not the seventh dimension to be giving you a seventh realm of something that doesn't exist that is what that is what makes the uniqueness that's what i'm saying that unique is the key word yeah, here. but, but you cannot you come and give me and i've been mm. in that space where i was also asking for a vehicle and they didn't mind me and I'm, I'm saying that the scale, because, the scale of you, you may be doing all those things already, and mm -hmm. it's fine, no problem. But what you are not doing is the relatability that I'm also offering. Mm -hmm. No, that I'm an you individual. Think you, are, you think you are offering it? You are not. So because then it comes back to the question that. that don't is it because I, I, I can't afford the car I've come to? That's how come. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> see, <laughs> conversions, right? Yes. Every brand, okay. Every brand engagement is the noise that. What is that? Engaged. Awareness. Awareness. We already have billboards. We already know. Are you turning that engagement into conversion? If I gave you a serial car, okay, how are you going to make sure your program, your tour program is so engaging that people are going to want the serial car? And is there going to be a segment where we say uh, man versus wild? Where you are in the western region, you are going to try this car in the most off-road space in the western region where there's a 10-minute segment of you versus the car just going at it that is telling me something about the car but if it's just for the visibility because 2,000 people are going to watch your youtube i have no way of measuring if 2,000 people have even seen the car or noticed it you're a nice guy maybe there are 2,000 people are watching your yeah, face bro Maybe the two thousand guys on your. But YouTube. isn't that why brands come on board? Come on board to brands come it on board to share the visibility, no. right? Yes, mm. that is okay. the, that is what okay. brands have been relegated okay. to. Look, right, look at our event space. No, that's not what. That's it, it's like, you know, get uh, what they call menies can tobens. You know, if, <laughs> you if, if I wanted, so if I what, wanted what just is visibility, yes. Um, one, it depends on the channel. One, it depends okay. on the channel that um, we are we are considering. Um, some of these are experiential uh, marketing you know drives and experientials are also very key in the whole full marketing mix apart from your you know above the line stuff so i'd want there are a few things i'd want to consider one who was a demographic who are the people who are following you mm. um who are going to see the ads a lot of times people would come with um proposals and the brand element of it is just um, a whitewash Oh, you join and um, we will give you visibility, we'll give you this, we'll give you that, we'll give you that. And that element of it is just a whitewash. Why, I say whitewash because um, your logo is just going to appear somewhere, maybe in a flash so, yeah. at some point. Um, the, the element or the product placement um, component of it is just going to be a little flash. Mm -hmm. But to the person coming for the proposal, oh, I've given you visibility. But it has to be deeper than that for me. Which is why I mentioned, or Cyril also also by, you know buttressed the point that you need to curate the whole pr you know process as an experience. You need to curate the content as well, 
so that it's deep enough to connect with the people that um, you're looking to, to, to connect to. Mm. Um, if you come to me with your proposal, um, for me, there are things that will be, uh, they'll be, asked, um, will be asked of me. Were there leads generated? How, how do we capture these leads? Um, the people who saw the ads, how do we capture the information of those who saw the ads or who, has, who have been exposed to the brand? Um, so if they were exposed to the brand, is there a way out for them? Is there somewhere, a channel through which they can actually now connect with the brand if they were in interested? So then I'll also have my internal mechanisms in place to connect with these people immediately and try and see if I can upsell to them or I can sell to them immediately. So if all of these things are not considered and you know from a brand from a, a sponsorship point of view oh we are doing this we want you to be a partner we will give you xyz on eight you know above the line um, channels i can also say okay this same amount i'm going to spend a hundred thousand cds on social media ads i'm going to be in everybody's eyes and noses and still the it's same the thing so, okay, so, another, so another thing what, that we what, like, with what Cyril and um, Dennis have said, um, aside or beyond the experiences that should be created, what I'm understanding is the brands should bring value, and then also the clients, right? Should the startup should also bring some value? I'm not for the startups that you know reach out to brands and then just give them basics and just put their brands on flyers. Because to be very honest, right, we are not even actually looking at all of the flyers to see the hundred. Um, brand logos that have been placed Nobody on there. Nobody is even Nobody looking at it. Them. No one is paying attention mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. that, right? Unless, of course, you're a headliner. You're a headline sponsor. <laughs> if you're a headline even sponsor, cares? even you know that, why? you can even have like brand. a hundred head, uh, or it, maybe there's ten There's a bigger brand on your show. No, 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 if you're a headline sponsor, then no, no you can have cares. ten headline sponsors there. Nobody really Lenny, cares. Nobody which really event have you gone for that you've taken the flyer and said, oh, okay, this is the brand, let me reach out to them. Unless the brand is going to come on stage and rap. Nobody happen. cares. Nobody really pays attention. You understand? Attention if Olele is the artist and people are buying tickets okay. to come and see Olele, and Foley Cup is the headline sponsor, nobody cares. They're not even looking that at that Olele is brought to by Foley Cup. And and unless of course there has to be a you have great intermarriage. Okay, so there's the unless of course you have. And then, then this the is for us. And, and then also you, you, you have like um, maybe a plan. You know, typically like what um, um, Shatawale did over the, the December period with the real estate brand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we had the name over the top of our heads. Yeah, even that, we've not even that? been able you know to convert that's, because you, you know why that's at this horrible. point, I don't remember the name. No, forget about that. Do you know why you that's know? horrible? Huh? Because the people in that audience, as many as they were, are not the targets. They don't have the purchasing power. Yeah. No, even if fine. you remember that, and uh, uh, you know when you, you have hundred thousand, you, you can't pay for it. Exactly. Pay for it. No, no, no. You know when you so go to that like the value I have to, I have to activate my, my, my role as the unofficial PR for the SMB. No problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the we, value should be balanced. Well, That's all we, for us, when we are advertising, our, housing? Our, for us when we are advertising our things, we don't advertise through with whether you can the purchasing power or not. We tell you. No, but you should also because we believe that tomorrow. So oh, tomorrow, 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 maybe eat you get money. Iba. No, but you shouldn't you take Thank into you. consideration the people present. Yeah, so that but the people you know, present, you know the money they get. No, but not everybody largely, Jay. Let's be honest. No, 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 no. no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to drift. I don't want to drift. I'll come. Drive. I'll come. Shut up at around nine fifty nine. I'll come there at nine fifty nine. I have to answer this question. I'm sorry because my boss is watching. And I need to address this issue, so I'll come to it. Um, yeah, he, he watches the show a lot. You understand? And and, and he I'll, 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 I'll also have to answer to my boss. Uh -huh. So this question is from this is from this statement from Nana Kujo on on X. He says that great conversation. He says the typical, and I'm asking this because you see you've said a point about how brands are looking at the startups and when they are bringing your things. And yes, I can put hundred thousand in social media and all that. In fact, let me tell you this: one few uh, well, OMC, one of these uh, marketing companies. Um, I approached a long time ago, long time. I mean, I was really young at that time. Now I'm very old. You? Yes. I approached the company and I said it was an uh, oil marketing company. And I said right. I wanted to do a radio commercial for them. Then the marketing manager said to me that, uh, I mean, he beat me hands down with his questions. And I, I learned a lesson from then on. He said that, oh, wow, I, I appreciate you guys coming here. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, do, 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 do you drive? I said, yeah, I drive. He says, oh, you drive. Eh? Did you buy fuel today? I said, yeah, yeah, I bought fuel today. And then, you know, because me thinking so stupidly that, let me say I bought from them. I said, well, I, I bought it from them. He says, ah, ah oh, okay, then, then he doesn't need to do any ad today. I should oh. go. If I, have, if I have bought, then I'm, he's doing something already that has gotten me to come buy here to say I want to come and buy, a, 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 come and get a, a job from them. It made sense. I mean, he warned me hands down. But Nanakujo is saying that, on the other hand, 
um the typical Ghanaian brand one it says it's not daring two doesn't give the consumer enough credit three as visual identity uh, as, a, as a visual identity designer i've worked with a lot of brands that fear the idea of doing something different because Ghanaians won't get it and that's another thing oh correct that's another thing that i come to brands with that um if i said that um a car brand <laughs> i want to I want to do a campaign where I'll fly it with a helicopter and drop it and let it come and smash the crash and then disassemble and say that mm. even even uh, with all our things we are not the number one but use us we are daring enough mm. to do this <laughs> with you. <laughs> the, the, it's very like the, the marketing manager will look at me and go like you want to take my car can to I, I should ask my boss that we should fly one helicopter or a uh, crash and drop it. Uh, please, no, no, my brother, my brother, please, you are in the wrong please, house. Can I please go with that? Go ahead, please, because I like Nana Kojo's post and I really want to like, answer from that. Name is on I'll, I'll get it. on 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 X. Bro. Today you go get something nice. No, no, Kujo, 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 Thank sorry. You. Um, there's a big disconnect, right? Having been able to interact with agency and creatives and then interact with corporate and marketing and brands guys. It's two different people. It's like the two siblings where one is stubborn and crazy and will jump from the roof into the back of the pickup to go to the party and the other one will go and choke. <laughs> that is how the two ends are. Okay, so you have creatives, agency, coming up with wild ideas. Mm -hmm. This is your helicopter idea. Brilliant. Everybody at the agency was shouting that day. Hey! But guess what? The place that the creatives got that insight and that inspiration, YouTube, Netflix, video games, whatever, blah, 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 right? All the craziness that led to that inspiration. The marketing guys at corporate are so removed from that reality that it will not resonate. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The people in the marketing teams eh, mm -hmm. do not invest enough. And this is a challenge to everybody. It, they do not invest enough in upping their creative game. So the creative agencies always come and they are on 9 over 10. Amped up. Because they just saw Apple do something in New York and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. They saw Dubai do something on the Burj Khalifa and it's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. But the guy in the marketing desk in the corporate office has been looking at targets mm -hmm. and Excel sheets and ROI for yes. the past six yes. months. You, you get what I'm saying? So there's no alignment. So when you bring something like that, he's interpreting it through the most possible uh, uh, avenue of loss. You are thinking about that helicopter, looking at everything that can be gained. He's looking at that helicopter, looking at everything that can be lost. Mm -hmm. I get you, it. You got what I'm saying. I get it. So your optimism is just creating pessimism in that person. The more you are shouting about the helicopter and we go drop and we go drop thirty thousand balloons with your logo, where people no go feel drive, where unless you get down and pop the balloon before you go feel move it. He's thinking about all the yawa that can go wrong. He's not thinking about it. Creatives but are inspired. That, but isn't to that disrupt. the reason why we are where we are? Yes. And so every, what we need, what we need is more. This guy. It's not the status quo marketing uh, exec because this guy is a, a creative Rambo. Mm. <laughs> this guy has been He's agency. An yes, this guy's an outlier. This so, guy has been agency for the thing, years and now this thing. So if you come to Dennis with a helicopter idea, <laughs> Dennis will get it. You run with it. You understand? Yeah, but, but of course, I also de definitely question, you question, I, I question it, but a few things. He's more receptive than your average. I finished my MBA, I'll be marketing <laughs> manager for this company. Okay, yeah, so, so. So, so well, okay. for, for, for example, I mean, every company <laughs> has um, <laughs> where they are at any particular point in time. Um, they may be, according to the books, they may be in a place where they would need to just create more awareness. They may be at a place where okay, okay. we need to um, convert people who already have. So it's all, once again, based on research and insights. Mm -hmm. So if we're not in the same space as you and you have this wonderful um, hyperfaluting idea, um, we may not meet, you know. Yes, of course, we would have to find a way of um, meeting each other at in the middle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had quite a number of people who have interacted with who have brought proposals and I've literally had to sit them down and say you know what with this idea it sounds good but I think this is where you need to plug in this is what you need to plug in to make it interesting enough for us to sit in the boardroom mm. but at this particular mm. point in time I don't think it will work this is also because I've had that background but mm. then I'm also trying to connect look look at our connection points our touch points and where we actually need help from a marketing perspective 
and you also on the outside just perceive us as a car company with a lot of money and you know we need x number of cars so you give us this you know the cars and then we'll give you this number okay. amount of um, airtime okay since we're talking cars okay all right ask, ask a question first is there an opportunity given to the regular Joe looking for money or partnerships, <laughs> right? Just what I was going to ask that. <laughs> to yeah. walk into your office and say, Hello, Dennis. My name is Olili. What are your target points or touch points for the first quarter? I think I have a few ideas I want to run by you. And you give me your target or touch points. And I go back and prepare a proposal. Or I need to prepare the proposal assuming that this is going to be a touch point. Because I, I, I don't see that often. I don't mm. see that on the website. I don't mm. see it on your social media. Like, mm. you don't announce, okay, first quarter, um, this company is looking to do that, 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 that. And then you, you find a way. So all, all the time. Yes. Oh, granted. You know, all the time, you just granted. walk into your like. I've also, once again, yeah. I've also had the opportunity. Um, we've, we've done a few um, things that, the, we've done things with people who are, who are not like your huge, um, you know, uh, what do you call them, um, influencers or whatnot. We've 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 started from very small ideas and grown them to. Mm-hmm. We did something with um, one producer some time ago um, called Sacri Films. They did a program called um, Lucky Ride. Mm-hmm. So they needed a car. They, they came yeah, with a Lucky they, Ride. Yeah, Lucky they came, Rider, they came yeah. with a very you know huge proposal. Blah blah blah. And it wasn't something that sat in our budget at all. I had to sit with him and you know fine tune, fine tune, fine tune, and eventually pushed to my boss and then also said, look. Looking at the particular segments we are speaking to, looking at the type of car we are talking about, I think it makes good sense to expose our vehicle to this number of eyeballs. And then from then on, um, also because it had a celebrity angle to it, so it had it had a certain you know draw to yeah. it. So why don't we? I mean, I, really I partook in that in that thing. Ah, you were also yeah. 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 So it, it's so it, so, so, so for that. example like that, right? Mm-hmm. What was the ROI in that? Just, 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 just to help us understand what the stars are line at that point where they need yes. their eyeballs. <laughs> oh yes, so um, and was it for every in line campaign, with what the company was looking for at that point in time? Yes, at that point in time, it was. I can't give, I can't exactly give too details. much information yeah. on that. But there's several ways of measuring um, the ROI. You know, ROI. Mm. I mean, it can come in, you know, um, an upsurge in your website visits. Okay. Um, that's where you can see whether your campaigns or whatever you're doing is, is gaining traction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're looking at your website visits, you're looking at your online comments. Now there are tools that do social listening and so you're able to see the kinds of conversations people are having about your brand and then you can use that to also retarget or co- you know, um, uh, um, contact these people or you serve these people these um, your arts mm-hmm. and so there are different ways of measuring your okay. ROI it doesn't necessarily have to come in hard sale so, but yeah. these are leads that now you can actually hold and say okay now I'm going to culture these leads grow these leads from uh, marketing qualified leads to a sales qualified lead and then we get there so mm. yeah so there's, there are different ways of looking has the space and I'm talking about the space uh, not from the um, uh, well, for the advertising space, from the brand owner, has it become a very competitive space? Looking at the kind of commercials and campaigns rolling around, has it become very competitive in convincing um, you know the, the the end user that use me instead? Yeah, it's it's become hugely, hugely, hugely saturated and very competitive. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, insights um, leads are advertising. Um, what do you call it? Um, are advertising. And um, now it's evolving from that to interest groups, um, interest okay. uh, groupings. And okay. uh, yeah. you'd find yeah, that true. people are collating or congregating or aggregating people with certain interest, interest groupings yeah. on social Very media. True. And so if you're able to have a certain interest group, now you have some goals that you can sell to a brand that, look, I have this segment um, these are the these, these are the demographics, and you can you can connect with. So these that people. can be a good approach for the approach. average Joe to yes it's to a, be able it's to a numbers thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and numbers, and then the quality of people. So it's very very segmented now. Now we have so many 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 media channels. We have so many um, conduits through which people get information. Mm-hmm. There's no longer three main TV stations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now there's social media. There's there's so many different um, YouTube yeah, channels, so etc. So mm-hmm. people now are creating and curating their own listener base, their own viewership base and stuff. And it's data that's right out there. And okay. you can use that to connect. I, I, I want to ask, from the days of um, 
Guinness Michael Power, right? To you've just given me <laughs> sweet nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Did you work on that? Yes, I handled. Wow! Oh, come so, on, you did Michael Power. Well, we are going to crush a car this weekend. That's nice. <laughs> Yo. We will drop a car from. <laughs> You're talking about a different era. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Power That's wouldn't nice. have been sustainable today. Today, I was going people. to ask. Yes. I was going yeah. to ask what. Even Michael Power had to be killed, killed at a point. <laughs> yes. We, 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 the Guinness people are out there. So, <laughs> yeah, so I was to, going to ask. Be killed uh, at a point wh- what do you call? With the brand. What do you call that? Ha. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much for making this work yeah. because I was looking at you know how people are used as brand ambassadors. Mm-hmm. You know the mm-hmm. science behind brand ambassadorship. You like, know when I'm at my brown, you, you understand. They are tired. You know, and <laughs> to add to the <laughs> fact that we now have social media influencers. You know, these are people oh. who you know have this some kind of story. presence on, on TV, it. but yes. they are they have like a, a, a mammoth following on 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 digital. How has the engagement changed over time? And how are we blending the traditional and the digital and still maintaining brand ambassadors through and through? Because like he said, I think Nana Mama Ground is like the last one standing mm-hmm. who has been very consistent with the brand. How is it how is such a way that the brand is still at the forefront and the individual is also getting, you know, their visibility? What's the science that goes on behind the scenes as, as, as a marketing manager in in having these conversations with <laughs> okay with Ma- marketing is fast changing um every day there's something new um trends are changing even the marketing marketing books are being rewritten people mm. yes people people's theories are being questioned and um <laughs> the consumer is is basically leading the charge in all of this today right. you decide what you want to watch you decide mm. which ads you want to see based on your browsing um history based on what where you go Mm. um you determine what comes to you and so the consumer is basically controlling a lot um today Mm. and for this reason i mentioned that um, influencers are beginning to garner for themselves following Mm. and through that they use that as currency to leverage um, brand opportunities Mm. now um nana mama brown for example has leveraged um or the high sense Thing, Brand, yeah. ha- perfectly executed, well executed. There's a good intermarriage between the personality and then the brand, the brand. that they are pushing, mm. and so both of them go head to head. Yeah. yeah. Now for the other brands that still insist on using the same personality, mm. I wonder what the motivation really is because then off the top of your mind you can't really remember okay. which one. Um, ah. th- Dennis, please let me hold you right there for a quick uh, commercial break. Uh, real quick, our time is almost up, but we'll just continue on that. And this is also a great advertising that a shoe company should have taken on. A shoe company should have taken on. Anyway, the uh, general manager for Plus 89.9 FM, our uh, very own Kuja Marco, said a few things before the Ghana game. I was lucky. I said I would take my shirt off when and wear my singlet and host a show if Ghana had lost against... Um, it's okay, uh, it's okay. Uh, what's he? No, no, the one before Mozambique was what? Uh, <clears throat> Egypt. Fortunately for Ghana, we drew. So I, want my, I, I didn't do that. But uh, Kojo you know? said that <laughs> he will walk from uh, West Hills Mall to Achimata Mall mm-hmm. if Ghana loses the match against uh, Mozambique. And I'm sure in the last dying minutes, in the uh, 89th minute, when Ghana was 2-0, <laughs> he was very confident that that walk wouldn't happen. But unfortunately for my brother, the uh, Mozambique turned the, the promise uh, into reality, <laughs> the dare into reality. So he's already on the walk now as we speak. I'm very, I'm very sure. I wish a, a company should have had this and taken on the shoes. Kojo, good morning. Uh, let's just cut straight to him real quickly and then get some updates from his end as well. On this walkathon without any, um, <laughs> any <laughs> certificates. Bless for you, Kojo. Kojo, Kojo, bless um, Kojo, can you hear me? Good morning. Can you hear me, Kojo? Okay, we're trying to establish the concept, but in the meantime, let's play this video real quickly so you can hear what he said uh, prior to the games. Personal loss to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the walk is, 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 is coming. Oh, the walk is coming on. I was actually, today. I was actually, yeah, I was psyched up to do it today, <laughs> but I, I received some <laughs> medical advice. Okay. Um, that, um, so when? when uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Uh, Charlie Gilbert. We forget um, some body cameras for our um, so yeah. so go monitor yeah, from please, beginning uh, to end. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. I mean, I want to be honest. <laughs> so, Gilbert, I don't know what you do for me uh, <laughs> to prove that I'm actually doing it. And I checked. I mean, it's just about some six hours. 
six, seven, six, 17, 18 kilometers from right. my house to, to, to the office. No, uh, we'll move. Uh, oh, oh, no. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's a sacrifice that we need to make. Uh, um, You're a man of your words. So I of mean, course. Of course. And I've seen a lot of comments, you know. Uh, people are saying that I'm not going to. Do okay, it. so I have it on the line now. Kujo, good morning. Can you hear me, Kujo? Uh, still trying to establish contact to Kojo. Um, maybe Is he, he on the road? Uh, yeah, he's already on the road. Uh, hey, he has to be on the road, though. Hey, right now, we, you don't promise and no, fail. Wait, but did he say if Ghana loses? Yes. But Ghana didn't lose. We are out. We are out. We are coming. That was a draw. We he didn't home. have to. We are coming. Yeah. No, he didn't. Have, I'm, just, I'm just saying because Jay uh, also didn't Ghana do lost. it because he, he, so he didn't take Kujo, good morning. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Yes, yes, yes. I can now hear you. I'm at FPP. Yeah, I'll do it. Topic right now. That's uh, and then I'll just walk in the next just for show me the final lap of my walk this Wednesday morning. Uh, thank you guys all for your support. <laughs> ah, but we are not done with <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, but we're still on. We're still on here. I, I like the fact that you honored your promise, uh, you know, and getting this done. Uh, but you spoke earlier on about health conditions. I hope you are fine. Perfect in your shape. No, we're almost done, right? We're almost done. Yeah, the underline. He said he's gotten to where? STC. Where is he walking from? At, uh, from uh, West Hills West Mall Hills. to Achimota Mall. Ah, uh, okay, he's coming down like this. Yes. That's a distance. That's though. a distance. Kojo, um, we're wishing you all the best, though. But uh, again, where do you say you had gotten to? So, as you can see, this is the uh, STC topic light. And okay. If you look carefully, the West Coast Mall in the full view. Yeah. Do you who, think who is he can... walking with? Security, medical. Uh, um, could you, do, do you think you can make it? <laughs> well, we're having a struggle there trying to hear him. Uh, on uh, but um, well, we'll bring you updates all through catch the update on thread at 1 p.m. Uh, here on the channel as well. Uh, we'll give you updates at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. on what happens because then tomorrow morning we'll be back here in the studio. I'm very sure we can catch him and bring him in there for a conversation. But um, let me let me just come back to you, Dennis, in wrapping up. Our time is up. Um, again, touching on the so for example, like this is happening. Yo, Nipani, I see you. Okay, so this is happening and um. You know, it was said, it was uh, on socials, it was on Plus 9.9 FM, you know, thanks but again, can't seem to get any anyone waking up and saying, look, this is an opportune moment, disruptive advertising, it's not in my budget, it's not in my plans, but it's a moment for me to capture, yes, the eyeballs, what are shoes for? Shoes are for holy, walking, holy. aside from dressing. The marketing manager of the shoe company is not trendy. That's the problem. He's good. At his, he's good at his job. He's qualified. I'm sure he's great. But, could you but he's not but a cool guy. Dennis shared. Dennis no, shared. See, I said this guy cannot be the rule of thumb. <laughs> this guy. No, but he it's shared the, the hindrances the within. No, yeah, this within, guy should be the norm. But unfortunately, the, yeah. the you need to be. The reason why you know is that you're on Snap, TikTok. You're checking this. You're you're refreshing. You're trying to find what's trending. You're on the conversations. You're a cool kid. You are in the space. Thank you. I'm a cool kid. You are in the space. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah. So when something so, yeah. is popping up, you see it coming a, a, a mile away. But the marketing manager of the shoe company doesn't even have TikTok on his phone. No, even if it does, I'm saying that is it the same inter internal processes that makes it sometimes difficult for them to jump onto certain things like this? Because for me, I'm thinking that this might have been a very crazy time. This is my, my, the best time for water. A water company. Why else am I drinking water? You know, um, the energy shoe drink. company, energy drink. Like, this should have been a heavily well-branded, <laughs> throw it in and take it on and ride with it. And I'm, I'm just hearing about it. You um, know, well, through social listening, if you're able to track conversations like these and you're able to see the trend in the conversation and seeing how many people are actually following it for example like what uh, john dumelo did mm -hmm. there was a growth there was a certain swell ground swell, yeah build up to, yeah, build yeah. up to it and so yes if you're a brand and you didn't take advantage of it and it was Sad. a low-hanging fruit for you then um 
Sorry. On that note, when are we coming for the cars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to calculate the cost we'll of the cars. You know what? You know what? You yes, uh, yeah, uh, time is up though. Yeah, but time is up. Okay, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Should be there. I was going to give free advice, but it's fine. Uh, it wasn't any more than the, the, the osteochromopolis. Okay, all right, thank you very much. Okay. 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 Dennis, thank you so very much for being a guest with us this morning. And thanks, team. Our time is up. We are going. We'll be back again tomorrow uh, here on Culture Daily. And we out.